Hi and welcome to Reaper TV. In this quick tip video, I just want to answer a question that was asked by Ben Gondolo on the YouTube channel. And this was in relation to the video that I just put out, which is how to automatically color code your tracks. So you basically wanted to know, is there any way that you can automatically color code the child tracks? In other words, anything you put inside a folder that you don't name, that they'll automatically pick up the color. Well, yes, there is. Even though I didn't cover it in the video, there is a way you can do this, and I'll show you that in this quick tip. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a couple of tracks. So we'll just go through and create four tracks. So we know that if we want to rename this one automatically, we can just put guitar in there, for example, and that'll automatically color code it blue. But nothing underneath is actually changed. So let's quickly rectify that situation. Let's indent this and make it a child. So it's inside the guitar folder and you can see nothing happens. It doesn't have any color. We'd have to name that using the previous videos method. So we can change that. If we come up to extensions and we come down to auto color icon layout. Again, remember you need to have the free SWS extensions installed to get access to this. If you don't download that, install it. It's a great way of adding on extra functionality into Reaper for free. So what we need to do is set up a new rule. Now we've gone through in the previous video, which I'll link in the description below and in the top corner. And that goes through and shows you how we can manually set up our own filter and then apply some color coding based upon that filter. Well, we're going to do a different thing this time. We're going to say add a rule. Now, we've always gone in in the past that we've named these filters to put our own filter in manually. But we can right click on there and we have a range of different options available. These are predefined options inside Reaper that once they're triggered, it will take out and do the color or the icon or whatever it is we tell it to do. So what we need to do is tell it that we want the children to pick up their color from the parent. So we've specified children is the filter. Now we need to go on onto the color and instead of saying set color, we just simply come to there and we say parent. And you can see once I do that, that automatically picks up the color now and indented parent and child tracks now pick up the same color coordination. So we can click to close that down. And just to reiterate that, let's just set this one to be vocals, for example, so it'll pick up a different color. And then we'll just set this to be a child track and there we go, automatically colored now without the need to go through and name these. I would still recommend naming them because it makes the whole way of going through, especially if you output these tracks to other people, everything is named accordingly and makes sense. But if you don't want to go through the time and effort of naming things to trigger that particular color coordination, then you don't have to. You can just use the option I've just shown you to automatically pick that up. Well, there we go, Ben. I hope that's answered your question. And I hope it's covered this in a little bit more detail to what we covered in the previous video. If you did enjoy the video, remember, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add every single week. If you comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else we cover on the channel, please pop those in the comments section below. Until next time, happy mixing.